Thank you. You know, Armed Forces Day around the nation means many things to many people. There are Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, interested children like Gennaro Lopez, who are passing out American flags on Main Street, Dallas today. Well, it's Armed Forces Weekend. It's a weekend of full activities that many in our country are saying glorify war. As a matter of fact, there are anti-war demonstrations being held from coast to coast today, but not in Dallas. Dallas Main Street is clear, clear for this parade, and clear for these thousands of people to enjoy the exhibit. And from here, it goes to the 30th anniversary celebration of the Dallas Naval Air Station. The F-8 Crusader. Air Force Thunderbird Precision Flying Team. Take Dallas, for example. As the city now stands, the sewage treatment plants are barely adequate to stay within state and federal guidelines. Water Director Henry Grazier says the city must spend some $54 million over the next few years for water sewage treatment improvements. Under the present system, the federal government will pay about 33% of that cost. But if Amendment 4 passes Tuesday, Washington's share of the bill will increase to 55%, and one-fourth of the price will be paid on a low-interest, long-term loan from the state. This means nothing directly to the taxpayer, since the Dallas Water Department is financed through revenue bonds. But it may mean plenty to the water user, whose rates are reflected in how much the city has to pay for equipment. Grazier says equipment costs have doubled since 1964, and he adds that the difference between the 33% and the 55% participation by the federal government 
represents some $12 million. Nor is Dallas the only city in this area in that kind of trouble. The Trinity River Authority has a very large capital improvement program underway. Fort Worth is in the middle of an expansion and must expand more. Garland is expanding. Pollution control at Lake Ray Hubbard will lean heavily on Amendment 4, and that's 22% of the price that need not be paid by such communities as Rockwall and Sunnyvale. The total programs in the area come to some $300 million, a heavy burden on the water user in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Under current laws, Uncle Sam would pay slightly over a million. But if voters approve Amendment 4, Washington would kick in better than $150 million, and another $75 million would be on loan from the state. Phil Reynolds, Channel 8 News, on the move. Well, you see, the thing was, I think it's going to storm. Then they moved to Waco. And burned out there. Burned out there, and then they came mm -hmm. on up here because uh, Fort Worth, as I understood it, made them uh, quite a substantial thing and gave them the ground. How do you feel about attending TCU well, 50 years ago? At that time, it was quite a big step forward. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, in those days, because there weren't too many at that time, this is just uh, one of the smaller schools that we consider them now. But in those days, it was a fairly good sized school. speaking for myself, that uh, I feel that uh, there must be a reordering of, of some of our national investment and that we really have to put money into human services and uh, we have to cut down on the amount of our resources that are going for uh, military uh, adventures. And uh, uh, personally, I feel that the 
revival of the SSP, for example, uh, is one of the things that seems rather dreadful at a time when we haven't begun to provide housing uh, for the families in this country, or when we have such vast unemployment, and uh, when we have such inadequate medical care. Uh, 